Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Been out to Yate today. Bought this. A bit of a giveaway it actually tells you solder scene on the front, which means it probably doesn't work. I bought it because I thought it might be fun just to take it apart. It says 49 megahertz. I've replaced the batteries already. And I do have one 49 megahertz transmitter, but it's not responding to it. So we are definitely going to be taking this one apart. So that's our battery pack. What have we got in the top? Some LEDs on a little panel up there. Okay, so that's the LEDs. A couple on there, one there, one there. Two electric motors into a gearbox there that goes down. Yeah, we're gonna have to take all that apart as well, aren't we? Just pull apart. what I ought to do is pop the batteries back in it and just do a bit of circuit testing just in case there's anything silly like just got a loose wire well, those those very thin wires are going down to more LEDs We'll just do a couple of simple checks. I'll just wire up the battery. We'll connect it into the receiver again. Right, which was which? Right, I've got white as positive, so I'll go to there. Oh, look at that. I've taken it all apart and now it's working. Oh, it is working too, look. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, well, that was fun. 
Well, we got it apart anyway, so we'll have a look at it. But it looks to me, if I put it all back together again, it might actually work. Okay, so looking at the gearbox, which we have here, we've got two motors that drive two separate gears, which then drive more gears that eventually drive that spline, I think we could call it, or dog tooth, is it? I can't remember what we call them. But those go into there. It's good together. The shaft itself isn't connected to anything. That just supports the, um, I say shaft, axle. That just supports the um, mechanism. They latch together. Let's see if I can just get one on there so we can actually see it turning. Push that in. Hold that. On one. So that's okay. Those fine wires feed the LED there. Well, I wonder if I can remember how to put it all back together. So I didn't take much care taking it apart. Oh, we'll see what we can do. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see the mess that I've made of it. Entirely in bits. Do I want to take that gearbox apart any further? I've just unscrewed that screw and this one just to take this black plastic bracket off the end there. And that just holds the motor in place, which if I pull it, oh, there we come, there we go. So we might as well leave that on there. Now we'll have a look, see if we can get the gearbox apart. Okay, what have we got here? Try and keep it together as much as possible. Right, so... Gear on the end of the shaft of the motor. Drives that gear. That drives that gear. That drives... that gear and that's the one that's got the splines or whatever we want to call them that drive the this bit that must have some gears in it that drive yeah drive that bit must be some gears in there that drive the wheel I'm not going to take it apart into individual pieces that's enough we can see what's in there Make sure we get it all back together. Come on, line up. There we go. 
that's lined up. Right, so that's the inside of the gearbox. I'm not going to take it out and lay the individual pieces on the table. I guess we ought to have a look inside here, just so we can see the layout of the gears in there. Right, is that going to come apart? Yes, nicely. Right, so there we go, nice set of gears in there. No reduction, these are just straight through I think. So that one drives that one, drives that one, drives that one. And that's the LED. Wires are tucked out the way. Yeah. Right, so I think that's all that we really need to take apart. There's no steering at the front. That just slops around. So I'll just see if I can get it all back together. That's our fairly standard RX2B. I've missed a couple of screws inside. Right, got to take it apart again.
we're upstairs on my landing because we need some carpet because it can't grip downstairs on the slippery surface. The wheels spin quite a bit on this surface but it's better than downstairs. So we really need skid steer steering so we've got forwards backwards on both sides but this is an ordinary controller so we've got left and right on this side. So if we give it right Go right and left. I have to go forwards. Okay, and then forwards for the car is forwards and right, and backwards is left and back. to go left, yeah, right, left, right, and I think if I get it right I can actually get it up onto those little back wheels, but I seem to get too much wheel spin for that. I can't quite get it to do that. But other than that, it seems to work fine. So from initially thinking it didn't work at all, we've now got a fully functional toy for £1.55. It's missing one of the top wheels there. But apart from that, it appears to be complete.